Hi everyone, so we're going to continue our discussion of, again, the basic terms and, uh, you know, associated with thermodynamics and thermochemistry. We talked about this idea of energy flow um, in the previous video and how we, um, <clears throat> ident you know, how, how we indicate uh, which way energy goes in, whether energy goes into the system or energy goes out of the system. We have certain signs for them, either positive or negative, so you have to uh, uh, understand that actually very uh, quickly because uh, everything else in thermodynamics depends on your understanding of this sign convention. Now we talked about in the previous video that energy can be transferred but the question is how can energy be transferred? What are the ways uh, in which energy is transferred from one system to the another system or from the system to the surrounding okay so uh, in thermodynamics there's basically two ways that you can transfer energy there is uh, a method of energy transfer referred to as work and this is the same exact work that um, we use uh, at the beginning to define energy which is the way uh, remember we define uh, an object having an energy if it can do work so it's sort of like you know it's sort of like going in a cycle in this case we're defining work as the way to transfer energy when you apply a force on an, a system or an object uh, and displacing it a certain distance away okay so the uh, picture here where this uh, boy right here is pushing on the rock and moving it a certain distance away from its original position the boy is then doing work on that rock okay so um, in this case, is if you you can tell that the boy is the the if you're looking at the boy as the system, the boy is losing energy, right? Because it's uh, inputting energy to the rock, so the rock is gaining energy. But both of them, that energy transfer is done through work. So in this case, from the perspective of the boy, it's losing energy. So as a result, he his energy change is negative. The rock is gaining energy, so his energy change is positive. Um, the other method that you can transfer energy is through heat. Heat has a symbol Q or little q here, lowercase q. And heat is a transfer of energy when no force is, in, is involved. Okay, so work, you have a force that's being applied and the object moves a certain distance away. Uh, it, you know, when, when there's no force that's being applied and the energy is just transferred as a result of temperature difference between the two systems or between a system and surrounding then the energy is transferred through heat so an example is the hot cup of coffee that you have and you put in let's say the lecture hall and you know that over time the hot cup of coffee would eventually cool down we know that the hot cup of coffee has more energy the uh, colder cup of coffee has less energy so clearly energy has been transferred but no work has been done because nothing is being moved a certain distance away uh, in a you know in, in, in kind of a concerted motion of, of uh, force so as a result no work has been done in that case energy is transferred through heat okay so these are the two methods that you can transfer energy with now I have a, a slide here that kind of uh, shows an analogy basically of how heat uh, and work the, these two terms are, are different than internal energy okay so you just want to think about heat and work as methods of energy transfer whereas internal energy itself is kind of the the amount of energy you have in a particular system okay so let's say you have two systems here which is this is one system which is the bang and the other system is your uh, back of your pocket or your wallet okay so you can think of the energy here as the amount of money Okay, so the amount of money you have that the, the you have in the bank and the amount of money you have the back of your pocket, those are the energies of the two different systems. Okay, the internal energy of the two different systems. So that's why they're symbolized as E, E of system one and E of system two. Now, you can transfer energy from system one to system two, two different methods. In other words, you can withdraw money from the bank to move it to the back of your pocket uh, in two different ways, okay? Uh, one is uh, through the ATM. You can go to the ATM and just, you know, pull out some money and then put it uh, put it in your back pocket, and that's one method of energy transfer. Uh, so that's like heat, for example. You're just taking in money, one, one method. The other method, of course, is you can actually go into the bank and fill out a form and ask the uh, teller to give you some money, and then you can put that money in the 
back pocket and that's the that's, that's another way of transferring money right out of the bank into your back pocket so these are the two methods of energy transfer or money transfer in this case heat and work these two are the actual systems that contain a certain amount of energy to begin with and there's some kind of process that causes the energy to be transferred from one system to another okay so in equation terms we can relate Q, W, and delta E in the following way. Very simple equation, which is that delta E, the change of energy of a system, depends on all the work and the heat do, uh, that, that occurs to that system as a result of a particular process. Another way of saying that is the amount of money you have in your back pocket is a result of the transfer of money through both the ATM and the teller okay if you take ten dollars from here you take a hundred dollars from here then you have a total of hundred ten dollars in your back pocket that you withdrew from the bank okay and so it's the sum of these two methods so that's basically what that equation is telling you that the change in the energy of a system uh, depends on what is the change in the energy through heat and the change in the energy through work okay now as we said earlier okay going back to this picture right when this boy is pushing the rock and the rock moves a certain distance away, the boy is doing work on that rock, okay? That means that the boy is losing energy through work. So how do we indicate that? We would say that the work with respect to the boy is negative, okay? Or it has a negative value. Remember that negative indicates energy going out of the system. So when we say W is negative or W is less than zero, that means that the system is losing energy through the method of work okay so by doing work on the surrounding so if uh, the boy is pushing uh, the rock and the rock is move you know moves a certain distance the boy is the system then the work value for the boy is a negative value okay let's say it's negative 10 joules just for uh, example purposes now on the other hand if you're looking at the rock the rock is getting energy right so if we consider the rock as our system instead of the boy as our system, let's say we're interested in the rock in this case, we're looking at the rock as a system, then the rock is getting energy through work, so the sign of work for the rock is positive. And in this case, because the value is 10 joules, then it will be W is equal to 10 joules for the rock. Okay? So you understand that in this case, W uh, negative means system does work on the surroundings, uh, when syst uh, what work is positive, that means work is done on the system. Okay, so you just think about that example about the boy pushing the rock. If you consider the boy to be the system, then W is negative. If you consider the rock to be the system, then W is positive. Okay. What about heat uh, transfer? Well, it's the same idea, right? If heat goes into the system, then the sign of Q is positive. Okay, Q of the system. If heat goes out of the system then the sign of Q is negative okay so if you have that hot cup of coffee the example I have earlier and over time the temperature of this cup of coffee goes down right that means that energy is leaving the uh, cup hot cup from the beginning to the end as a result of that cooling so that means that Q is negative with respect to the coffee Q is positive though with respect to the air surrounding the coffee cup because they're getting energy from the from the coffee okay uh, in, in, in looking at the time I think I would just continue this topic state versus non-state function in the next video